Right, part two of the PTC 114-115 Pi Telecom's mobile transceiver of 1950. This is the control box and the rather bulky Ebony standard BT handset. It's pushed to talk just there. And the control box itself is a single channel control box and it consists of audio to two uh, positions and off maximum public address off public address on and set on set off and that is it out of the back of the box there is the severed end of the control cable that would run all the way back to the box at the back of the set just there and control the set. The handset, as I say, standard BT handset, and very, very bulky to use indeed. The aerial mount, standard Pi aerial mount of the time, with the good old Pi uh, plug on the bottom of it. And if I take the top off the transmitter unit first, which can be quite difficult. And there is the transmitter, the rotary converter at the back. Rotary converter at the back. Come forward to a pair of modulation valves, as this is an AM transceiver. Crystal still in situ down there, and then crystal oscillator, driver, driver, and finally a hefty PA valve there, which will get about 10 to 15 watts out. And here is the PA loading coil and the driver adjustment there, the linkage between the two coils, and that would then come out to the aerial changeover relay. This big beastie here is the modulation transformer. And uh, that is the transmitter. I have now taken the receiver case off. And here is the receiver. Crystal oscillator, multiplier chain for crystal. And then the RF front end coming round into the IF valves here, all screened nicely. And then round to the um, audio and power supply. And there is the rotary converters, both with transmit on the right, receive on the left. So receive will be running most of the time, continuously. These are the brushes for the motors here, which are a bit stiff. Oh, this one uh, will come out. I'm not going to uh, do much else to that, though. Might break it, knowing my look. And there is the multiplier chain and the RF front end. IF running their way down here and uh, other components that are missing there probably for the high band version of these. The view of the uh, transmitter, crystal there, PA valve, A good old Mullard QQVO320, I believe that says. Just looking at that carefully. And uh, back to the receiver. Around the back of the rotary converter. And along to the IF strip.